Everyone, guess what? I'm back in my favorite place. Yep, Hong Kong. Guess what's happening? This is the continuation of the journey towards the Z8. If you saw my last video when I talked about the Z8 and I mentioned my A7R5, this is pretty much a trip to go pick one up in Malaysia. I had it on pre-order, now they deliver. We've got a date when it's launched and that's actually was yesterday. So I'm heading back over there to go pick it up, but I probably won't get there until Sunday to do that. But let's look at what we're giving up. The trusty old A7R5. And I say trusty, even though I do have some issues when it came to handling. And really it's more for the photo side of things because my hand will get cramped if I use like a typical camera. You've probably seen a couple of photos I put out there or you know, John took one of me that I had that I was using the camera and looking at the screen. I find that to be the better way for me to utilize a camera than you know, doing a normal grip thing because if I do that in a regular sense and look through the viewfinder, man, after a few hours, my hand gets cramped. So yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of weird to say that you have a great camera, but then you're gonna have to give it up and look at something else. But remember, part of my deal is video now. And I'm recording on the FX30, which is my vlog camera, certainly lighter than the uh, A7R5. But what I like with A7R5 is the stabilization on it. Really love that. And I've showed you some footage to my videos. I know you guys don't really watch my travel stuff, but I'll tell you, go watch those videos because starting a couple months ago, I'm deciding to put more stuff in my travel videos about the camera and the technology and talk about that. I still haven't quite worked the formula just yet, but I want to make sure that I do talk about the tech as well as the travel stuff. So stay tuned. I have more stuff coming where I'm going to talk about things and show more photographs because if you watch the last video, I show some stuff from the early days when I started shooting with Nikon, plus some photos from the A7R5. So you can see some of those things. I didn't want to overload it. The video ended up, you know, almost 15 minutes long, but I wanted to cover some things about my journey from, you know, Nikon, FX30, A7R5, and now getting back into Nikon. So in a couple of days that's coming up, but I did really want to kind of give a send off to the A7R5. I really like the camera. Um, and I'll say it's a tech. I keep saying it is a tech. Gripping it, not the greatest. I would have loved for the grip to be deeper. That would have made it more comfortable. But Sony seems to be sticking to their formula of making this camera, well, making their cameras small and compact. And it doesn't fit everybody's hands. But the tech inside this stuff is amazing. I love this screen. I really wish that it would have this kind of screen. But, you know, they do have a kind of similar thing. We can flip out the angle, or flip out the screen at an angle when you want to hold it sideways. Well, portrait mode and shoot without having, looking to, well, without having to look directly at the screen. If you have to get a little bit lower, like, you know, waist shooting, you can tilt the screen out in a horizontal fashion. Well, yeah, vertical, for vertical shooting, and you can use it that way. So, not bad, but the multi-angle screen in the A7R5 was awesome. So, I don't want to make this a long video. I just wanted to kind of touch in with you guys and let you know what's going on. And actually, Tomorrow is when I head to Kuala Lumpur, but based on the trip and what time the shop closes, more than likely, I don't think I'll make it. Today, coming out of the airport in Hong Kong, it was kind of hectic. I should have been out there within about an hour or so, but it was more like almost two hours between the lines and so on and so forth. So, you know, John already told me, you're probably not gonna make it. It's probably gonna be closed before you get here. So keep Sunday in mind. And I think if I get this Sunday morning, I'll have more time to play with it and spend some more time um, shooting because what I want to ask them to do is let me use the um, camera I'm trading in to do like a quick test between both of them, take them outside, shoot certain things at the same time so you guys can see what it looks like from both cameras. And I'm going to keep the settings the same. I just want to, you know, basically compare them video, photo and so on because, you know, you guys who don't have Sony stuff don't know exactly what it does you've seen some of the things and i'll say this personally you've heard me in the last video i didn't like the screen on the camera and i've heard about the color um, issues and having fx30 and the um a7r5 what i did notice is that the auto white balance and the a7r5 
freaking awesome it looks great the fx30 needs a bit of tweak so sometimes what i do is like if it's sunny outside i put it in you know um sunny mode cloudy whatever just to kind of get something good but most of the time since i know that it's an issue with white balance i put it in s log mode and grade it when i get back in i've been getting pretty good at that so you know if you look at my videos about the fx30 you probably don't see the colors off uh, unless it's something like one of the talking head one when i use s to the tone these days so yeah i want to show you guys both of that i want to give you a look at both of the cameras so you can see what they are compared one of the things that i know that i'm concerned about is stabilization i've seen some footage online and it looks pretty good but i've also seen some that um they kind of show you walking with it and it doesn't look so good lens as far as lens i'm thinking maybe i'll just get a 70 to 200. still haven't decided yet i know there's a kit with a 24 to 120. i can shoot videos with it as well but i think i'm going to do more photographs and i plan to adapt the smaller lens i have a 11 15 millimeter those are um, APS-C but I have the 1635 that I'm using right here and that's a full frame f4 it'll work well on the Nikon I got an adapter for it so I'm trying to you know minimize trying to get too many stuff to carry around I want to keep it simple but I'm missing that 70 to 200 certain situations where I want to have that and like not being in Mongolia when I go out in the countryside sometimes the birds and the animals and so on are a bit far away so I think I need to get something with some good reach on it. So let me know what you guys think. Put in the comments which lens you think I should go with. Should it be the 24 to 70 or should it be the 70? Sorry, the 24 to 105. I had a 24 to 70, that's like it was heavy. Uh, I wanted a 24 to 120 because I figured it had more range. And now that the Z8 has a similar feature as the Z9 and Sony cameras, we can do basically zoom in on the sensor to give you up to two times whatever the um, focal length of the camera uh, sorry of the lenses so i think that's an awesome feature i know sony has it on here if we have a prime lens on it works well the thing that i did see in nikon side is that you don't lose things like eye autofocus when you have to turn on and sony when you go beyond the um the focal length of the lens and you zoom in you tend to lose eye autofocus and you can do that on any lens you put on sony camera not just um prime lens I'm a little bit out of breath. This damn camera is heavy, believe it or not. Vlogging is not something that I do a lot of, but you know, trying to do it here with this particular tripod that I got now, it's a little bit more sturdy than the last one that I have, but it is a bit on the heavy side adding it. But hey, sturdier things is better, right? Ooh, man. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Let me know in the comments, again, which lens you think I should get, and stay tuned for my video from Kuala Lumpur when I pick up the Z8. Oh, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and if you have some gear that you want to buy, check out the links in the description area, click on that, purchase something.